This week, researchers from two very different disciplines came up with two very interesting new discoveries, both about holes. First, from Switzerland, some agricultural scientists have discovered what they believe is the actual cause of holes in Swiss cheese. For the past century or so, scientists have believed that the holes were caused by bacteria, but new data suggests that they could actually be caused by microscopic bits of hay that fall into the milk during collection. This hypothesis may explain why Swiss cheese holes are starting to disappear, thanks to farms getting cleaner. In related news, scientists in Australia have discovered that reality doesn't actually exist if you're not looking at it, so who cares about cheese holes because nothing even matters. The physicists performed a real-life variation on the famous double-slit experiment. The idea is that you have a particle that can travel as either a single atom or as a wave. If you fire it at a wall with two holes in it, then it will either travel as a single atom and go through one hole or the other, or it'll travel as a wave and create patterns of interference by going through both holes at the same time. The researchers performed this experiment by adding a second wall that would show the pattern of interference if the particle was traveling as a wave. What they found was that when they added the second wall, they did in fact see the pattern of interference, showing that the particle traveled as a wave. If they didn't add the wall, then the particle traveled as a single atom. What's crazy is that the scientists didn't decide to add the second wall until after the particle had already passed through the first wall. So in other words, when the particle traveled through the first wall, it was neither an atom nor a wave, or it was both. Or if you wanna get really loopy about it, you could say that the particle knew ahead of time whether or not the researchers would add the wall and the future events traveled back in the past to affect the particle. Of course, there are a few things to keep in mind when we're talking about this news. One is that we're talking about very, very small things. The researchers in question used a single helium atom and a couple of laser beams. So it's not like the Swiss cheese in your refrigerator is both full of holes and not full of holes at the same time until you open up the door and look. The other thing to remember is that when physicists talk about these things, they're often forced to use metaphors in order to help people visualize otherwise really hard to understand mathematical concepts. As Richard Feynman is often quoted as saying, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. Or if you prefer your quotations more accurately sourced, as Niels Bohr once said, anyone who is not shocked by quantum theory has not understood it. But I'm sure a little bit of metaphorical thinking won't get in the way of people like Deepak Chopra, who will surely use this news to sell a new book about visualizing your future in order to change your past self. So like right now, I'm visualizing my future as a billionaire, which hopefully will encourage my past self to drop out of college and invest that grant money in Google. Any minute now.